in. <laughs> oh my god, my I almost I thought it was a jawbreaker and I was like, no. ah. My dog loves it. This so. is so nice. <laughs> I signed it from him. He's a German Shepherd. Lazar. Yeah. Let's see. He's a German Shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you. It is so nice. <laughs> it's good for their teeth. Yeah, and he loves to play with it, so I figured he was. This is too. so great, actually. I thank you. I really appreciate it. He's gonna appreciate it. Um, I am sure. I'm very it smells really good. I love the rubber <laughs> smell of dog food. Anyway, thank you. Oh, no problem. It. Thank thank Lazar for me, please. I will. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of my hat? Too retro? Or? How did you get him in the first place and how do you manage to take him with you all huh. around on set? It's hard. It's hard. I When I work in the country, it's fine. I can get him anywhere. I can drive him anywhere. I fly with him short distances. It's fine. But um, I got him on Big Love. I did a show for HBO a long time ago about polygamy called Big Love. I, yeah, I was on I it for seven that. years, yeah. yeah. Um, and the fifth year I came, I, I came to work and there was this puppy in the production office and I was like, what is that bear? They're like, it's, an, it's like a baby Australian shepherd. I was like, oh my God, what? And the production coordinator was actually gonna take the bear, the dog home. And I was like, are there any more? Where are they come from? And she's like, the set decorator, the day player set decorator actually has a litter of puppies he needs to get rid of. And so I was like, okay. So I walked on set and I was like, Scott? And he's like, yeah. I was like, you have any more of these? I would love to like find a home maybe or foster it, whatever I said. And he was like, yeah, I have one more. I have a, another boy or a girl. And I was like, oh, whatever, I'll take whatever. And he's like, I'll give you this boy. And so I took him home and I fell in love with him. And 24 hours later, he was mine. <laughs> yeah, they're very good at that. Go back, let's go back. Look, it's Ted. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? I'm 26. Well, you know, I just don't want my lawyer singing Frozen songs during the opening arguments. We really appreciate your time, but I think what we're probably going to do is just take a seat and get to work. I trust you completely. Yeah, we really feel like you've got a lot to offer. I get migraines. I'm going to get a huge migraine in the parking lot in about 20 minutes. Tell me more a bit um, about the atmosphere on set. I heard uh, some uh, stories about pranks with Finn. Yeah. I would go crazy as well if that happened to me. Yeah, um, I, I, it's really fun. I mean, the A Million Ways to Die was was really fun and really, I mean, it was, there's some stressful bits because we were shooting out in the desert and the weather's unpredictable, but like for the most part, the atmosphere that Seth kind of promotes, you know, the, the energy, the, 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 the perspective is, is really good. And, and so I knew coming into this movie was gonna be great. I knew everybody anyway. I. I, I just love doing comedies because because there's not a lot of seriousness. You can't really take too much seriously, and so it was it was good. I mean, I yeah I, I'm I'm like an impulsive, um, compulsive, uh, s like scarer. I I just like to hide and jump out at people all the time. I don't know why I do that all the time. I do it to Finn. <laughs> um, I just, my sister and I have always been like that. Her fiance like comes home every night knowing that she's gonna be somewhere and it's just, it's like we, it's really stupid and it, like, we create really stressful situations for the people that, you know, around us. And I would, I was like constantly jumping out at Mark. Did you do that? Yeah, did you do that to Mark? And perhaps that's yeah. why he <laughs> took Finn? <laughs> oh, that is exactly why, I can tell you. He's like, oh really? Okay. Um, it's fun, it was really playful. The whole, it was really fun, well, except that night. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about you as an actor. You've been in this business as very young, and what were some of the main challenges that you've come across and how do you overcome it to come to this point? Um, the One of the main challenges which is getting like pigeonholed because the industry wants to kind of, tends to want to tell you what you are and where you fit in. And um, it's a little, it's a hard to, it's hard to overcome that. I think um, you have to choose the right roles. You have to be given the opportunities to choose the right roles. Um, to diversify and like make sure that people don't um, see you as one thing because when you're young, especially I, I, my first film was Mean Girls and I was 17 when I shot that and I could have easily been like the dumb big boobed blonde 
for forever. And who knows? You can't. It doesn't. You can't thrive that way. You just. I mean, I'm an actor. I want to like push the envelope. I want to push my own button, but. No. Samantha Jackson. It must be Ted. Uh, yeah. Samantha Jackson. W what's your middle name? Leslie. Oh my God. Yes, Sam L. Jackson. That's great. I mean, just like Sam L. Jackson. Who is that? You ever seen any movie ever? He's the black guy. Is that you ready? Yep. Bring it on. Do you consider yourself to be human? Objection. Sustained. No, the witness can't object. Overruled. Sidebar. Guilty. Speculation. Hearsay. Bailiff. Briefcase. Disregard. In my chamber. Stop Beaver on the witness. Arrest. We could totally be lawyers. Thanks. Right. Oh,